Favor in the Corner of the Camera Productions. The Martin Family E Thanksgiving Trip. Chicago. <laughs> Where are we headed, men? Ohio, but we're going to Chicago. Oh, we, hold on, I gotta get there. All right. We can make it to Ohio, but we're going to Chicago. Ohio. Chicago. Yeah, Ohio tonight. <laughs> Chicago tomorrow. Chicago. Hmm. Chicago. Yeah. So on night one, we went from Kingwood to Sandusky, Ohio, which is about halfway. Uh, we stayed in a hotel there. Um, I took us to the wrong hotel at first and we were super tired, but we found our place and it was a nice place. So we had an enjoyable night and got some rest before the ride to Chicago the next morning. I got, I got lots of pictures, hers, hers like this next to. The ride to Chicago was kind of long, but, but I was pretty excited to get to the city. These are our first glimpses of the city after such a long drive. It was really exciting to see, and things got a little bit intimidating as the traffic started to pick up. We tried to document coming into town as best we could. Uh, the traffic was pretty crazy at times, um, so Steph was working with me to get through that. But when things slowed down a little bit here and there, um, she did a great job of taking some videos to kind of document us coming into town um, and what that looked like for the first time. Our hotel was really easy to access from the interstate and it was pretty much in the heart of downtown, only about a block or so from uh, the Riverwalk and uh, the Financial District.
After checking in, we snapped a quick family picture and then looked outside and saw the Baltimore Ravens rolling into town for the game against the Bears the next day. Night one, we had deep dish pizza at Pizzeria Oreos. So after dinner, we took our first look downtown. Uh, we took a walk down on the river walk, which turned out to be one of the most well-known areas of the town. Uh, the corn cob buildings in the background are called Marina Towers, uh, the Trump Towers down there, several different buildings. So it's real popular for shooting movies, uh, movies like Transformers, King Kong, Jupiter Rising, Mercury Ascending, National Lampoons, a whole bunch of movies have used this area to shoot. So you might recognize it, but it was super great down there, really fun, uh, beautiful area of town to, to just go for a walk. Museum and we took a bus. That was our first time taking public transportation. I kind of liked it. Also, there's me. Here's Dr. Fields. Oops. Home of the ba Chicago Bears. Go Bears! miniature train model where you could see the entire downtown Chicago. Um, they even had the train uh, running from the Midwest all the way to Seattle. There were so many cool exhibits uh, like this one that shows a tornado, uh, the one here showing what happens in an avalanche, 
And the next thing you're going to see is called a focal pendulum, which was originally used to demonstrate the rotation of the Earth on its axis. They took it apart and, and they made it so you could look at some stuff like the engines and, and you could see the cockpit but you couldn't go in it. If the cockpit was really small oh, but, but it was really cool. Now you see these laughing faces. Whenever you move they laugh. It's really strange but kind of fun. So my favorite part was the body exhibit. So here you can see the circulatory system, 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the body, and these were real preserved structures from real people. Um, we saw this heart uh, monitor where you can it, put your hands on this uh, apparatus and it shows your heart beating. Um, you can see the intestines, uh, the digestive system, the circulatory system, and Gabe's in the background there. Um, so they have these really neat, again, preserved from real people models. They were fascinating. And I didn't record, but they had, um, you know, different uh, gestational ages of babies as well. In there. I really like the uh, space exhibits. Uh, what you saw in the previous picture was the Apollo 7 capsule, which brought the astronauts back home from space.
Uh, I, I didn't like the train. You didn't like the train? <laughs> yeah, because people were dumb from car to car and it was noisy. Did you have fun today, Vanny? Hey, Dad, I'm using force luck. So Monday was kind of our free day. Um, like most of the other days, we started off with breakfast at McDonald's. Um, that was kind of a combination of dinner was really expensive and we were pretty wiped out. Um, but that's how we started most of our days. And then we took off and went to the park. Okay, let's walk up and see uh, Cloud Gate. What's that? What's I went all the way around and had to hit record. Hey, Gabs. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. Oh. <laughs> Julie, say hi. Hi. <laughs> you put you want your hat? It took us a couple of attempts between camera malfunctioning or human malfunctioning and dodging people, but we eventually got our picture in front of Lake Michigan. Next, we hit Macy's for a little bit of shopping on our way back to the hotel. Macy's was definitely an experience. Five stories of shopping. Um, on our way back, we got a picture in front of the famous Chicago Theater. Um, then we hit the hotel for some relaxation. And we had a couple hours before the Bulls game. Then we went down to Pizzeria Oreos and had a burger dinner. They had Beyond Burgers and they were amazing. The kids absolutely loved dinner. And then it was off to the Chicago Bulls game. We rode bus 20 down Madison Avenue, which was absurdly crowded. Wasn't actually that great of an experience. Um, but the United Center was a dream come true for me. Uh, to see the Bulls and be in that famous venue was super great. Um, a memory I'll never forget. So the Bulls got crushed by the Pacers. Um, Vanny passed out, um, but still overall, it was a super great experience. We had a great time at the United Center and we made it back to the hotel for some rest. I did videos 
took everybody in the hotel room. Away we go, like two feet, and then we go. <laughs> Away we go. Okay, we went two feet, that's enough. On Tuesday, we went to, to Soldier Field and the Field Museum. Um, I found a, a little dinosaur on the ground. I really liked him, and also I brought him home. It was fun to take a quick walk around Soldier Field. I had so many memories there of watching games uh, from my childhood. So to actually be there in person was really cool. Um, it's been the home of the Bears since 1971, but it's had all kinds of other major moments, major concerts, uh, president speaking there, all kinds of cool things. Uh, here's a funny picture that we took in front of the Field Museum with the sun in our eyes. It didn't work out so well. Um, so after going to Soldier Field, we walked across the street and went to the Field Museum, uh, which Julesy was super excited for um, because they had and Sue, the, the Tyrannosaurus the Rex. Eater of Muffler, the largest man-eating lion on record. The man-eating of Muffler. This is one of the lions from Sabo, uh, featured in the movie Ghost in the Darkness. Go. <laughs> so in the theater, we got to see a 3D movie on Titanosaur, the largest animal ever to roam the earth. Uh, here are some pictures of us in front of a Titanosaur fossil. So one of the original purposes of the trip, um, the idea came from Julesy. He wanted to see Sue, uh, pictured right here, the most intact Tyrannosaurus Rex in the world. The Field Museum was a really cool experience. I think Gabe had a really good time uh, because he's really in the history at this point. Uh, it was one of the most beautiful buildings, maybe the most beautiful building I've ever been in. Um, so it was a really good day and we learned a lot. When we left the museum, we had a really beautiful scenic walk on the way to the bus stop. We were all very exhausted by the end of the day, but it was such an amazing time at the Field Museum. I really can't pick a favorite 
part of this trip. I think just being together with everyone the entire time um, was my favorite part. But Chicago is an amazing city to visit. There was so much to do that we didn't get to everything. So I really look forward to going back. My favorite part was just being together with my family, uh, being in a city, just the liveliness. Um, definitely the museums were amazing to learn so many new things. My favorite part was the Field Museum because it had a lot of history. Favorite part of Chicago was the Field Museum and our hotel. Tell. Um, I also like the Bulls game that we went to. Um, my favorite part of Chicago was everything and the Bulls game. So Wednesday, it was time to pack up and head home. Uh, so we packed up and, and we're out of Chicago pretty early in the morning, around 8 o'clock, uh, for the ride home. The ride was pretty uneventful. It did end up taking us 12 hours because we stopped to eat a few times. But along the way, uh, we got to see Indianapolis, Columbus, One bump in the road on the way back was um, when we were just outside of Columbus, man, he got cars sick. Um, but Steph was amazing. She cleaned them all up. We packed up the uh, car seat and we made it home. Thanks for watching.